Hi, my name is Jorgen Hohen. This is a short video on Salesforce governor limits. The philosophy. In 1870, a guy called Amos Woodward created a Woodward governor. And that company exists today and employs thousands of people in Colorado. And what the Woodward governor did was it was a control for water wheels. So regardless of how fast the water flowed by, the axle in the dam would be consistent in turning the turbine for power or for machines or for mills. And it evolved through history, the turbine to the diesel engine, to the propeller engine, to analog, to digital. So today, a key component of Salesforce is the governor limit. It limits runaway processes. So if you make a faulty process, it won't, it, it won't allow you to harness the hundreds of thousands of servers in the cloud for your process. That's why the governor limit is important, right? So in the sandbox, there's restrictions on total number of emails. In production, there's restrictions on total emails per user per day, per org, a thousand, you know, 250, tags, 500 tags, uh, etc. Like site.com, how much data you can push out, and how much data and files you can have attached inside your Salesforce org versus what the total amount is for the code. And that are governor limits and why they're important in Salesforce. Thank you.